Hey, what's up you guys? Today I wanted to share a product with you that I created that lets your students build a plant and animal cell in Google Slides. You can find this product on Teachers Pay Teachers for Sell. Now this product would work great if you use Google Classroom and your students have laptops. Here's a little demo of the product. Let's check it out. Okay, so you can see right here, here is Google Slides and I have some, I have the objective and I also have some directions for your students. And so uh, the first thing that you're going to do is your students have to create a plant and animal cell and they're going to place their finished plant cell on slide two right here and their finished animal cell right here. And the directions right here tell them that they need to use slides four through nine to create their cells. So here's slides four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And you can see it has clip art on it. Now yours won't say sample once you buy this off of TPT. And if we go back up to the directions, it says that there's a little hint right here that you may need to make extra copies of some of the clip art to finish this task. So that's really, really important to know that, for example, I have one nucleus. Well, maybe both the plant and animal cell, if they need a nucleus, then I need to make an extra copy of that. So that's important to know that it says that you may need to make a copy of some of these uh, organelles here as well. Okay, let's build a plant cell. Now, when you build this plant cell, uh, you can have your students research online to find out the similarities or differences between a plant and animal cell or you can watch this video right here, you have your students watch it, where it actually, um, and if we click it, it's the video right here, where you can see, here's me, Mrs. G, and uh, what's gonna happen is, is that uh, we're gonna talk about in this video the differences between animal cell and a plant cell. And we have these two little uh, cells right here um, in this animation video. So your students can watch this, and they can use this information that they learn about the differences and similarities and create their and build their plant and animal cell. Now, if you don't want to uh, buy the TPT product, uh, then you don't have to. If you scroll down here and you still want to use the video, if you click the button that says show more, I have some free uh, worksheets for the video. Let's say you're gone for a day, you're sick, you can have your students uh, you know, take notes on the video and right here, here's a Google Docs uh, assignment that asks them questions about the video. And then I have two different versions of this Venn diagram. Uh, so depending on, you decide which version works best for you because uh, depending on your class's skill level, you might want to use one over the other. And then I have some more paid products with reviews on TPT in case you want to uh, use something else besides the product that I'm showing you right now. So if we go back over here, after students watch that video or research online to find out similarities and differences between plant and animal cells, now we can start to build our plant cell. So what we'll do is we'd scroll down, we'd look for something, and you can see right here, I see the first thing that gives it away is cell wall. And so I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy of this because I know that plants have a cell wall after I've done my research. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna paste this. And so I have the first thing right here, cell wall. Now yours, now yours won't say sample because if you, when you buy this product, it'll, the, you won't have the word sample written on it. And now I go on for the next thing. So I go through my clip art and I look for the next piece. And you can see right here uh, is the cell membrane. So I'd go ahead and make a copy of that. I can go back up here and I would paste that as well. And um, if you don't want your students, if you have maybe a higher level students and you don't want them to uh, have the words written on them already labeled, uh, what you can do is you can right click it, uh, the clip bar, and you can go ahead and click on group. And that'll allow you to um, take off the uh, words right here. You can delete it. Uh, so you and then you can, um, you know, have your students put their own label on. This product's really great. This product, that's what makes it so versatile is there's so many different things that you can change about it to fit your needs. And so now you can see right here, we have the cell wall, the cell membrane. Um, I also need to look for the cytoplasm, which we got right here. I'll copy that. I'll go up here and I'll paste it. And um, since this is, you can resize this, I can resize it right here. 
to make sure that those words fit and I can see all the labels clearly. Now I can go ahead and look for some organelles to put inside my plant cell. So I'll go back down here and uh, let's say if I click the nucleus and I make a copy of it and if I go up back up here and I'll paste that nucleus in and there you can see we're starting to build our plant cell and I can put everything else in there and then I'd go ahead and do my animal cell and so forth. Um, when you come down here to the last two parts on part two it's going to ask you to complete the table to um, place a plus sign if the cell has um, has this or if it's that type of cell so you can go ahead and put your little marks in here and this is great because this is helping students really see the differences they're going back looking at their cells they created and they're reflecting on it and they can use this to complete part three which now makes your students right so now they will uh, compare um, the differences and similarities between a plant and animal cell but they will write it out um, what they saw and what they learned about right here and after they're done now that they can save this and they can upload it to Google Classroom for you to check out how well they did so this is a quick easy um, activity because they don't have to cut and paste or anything like that it's all digital it's quick it's fast if you're gone you can just post it on Google Classroom the video as well um, so there's a lot of different things you can do with this so other than that thanks for watching you guys uh, go, feel free to subscribe like this video if there's other stuff you want to you want to see, please leave in the comments down below. Other than that, um, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.